Hello everyone and welcome back in the channel. If you have been wondering how can you measure distances on Google Maps on Android or iPhone, you are in the right place. Because today in this video, I will show you exactly how can you do that in a very easy and clear method. All you need to do is to go ahead and follow up with me till the very end of this video and let's jump right into it. First, we need to get something out of the way. Let's go ahead and open Play Store or App Store, depends on what device you're on. Let's find Google Maps from there and let's make sure we have the app updated to the latest version for everything to work properly in the app. After updating your app, you can finally go ahead and go to the store. Let's go ahead and open Google Maps. And here we are in Google Maps. Now, before measuring the distances, let's go ahead and make sure we have the GPS on just like that as you can see guys and after that let's go ahead and pick the measuring unit tap right here in the top right corner on the profile picture you have there and then from there tap on settings right here close to the bottom then go ahead and tap on distance units choose the one you want I'm just gonna choose kilometers once you're done from there let's go back to the map here we are. Now, let's go ahead and zoom in to the area that you want the starting of the measurement to start in. So here we are, right here, let's go ahead and zoom in it. Let's say I want the measurement to start from here, go ahead and long tap on the starting spot. And then what you need to do is to go ahead and swipe up from here. Right there, go ahead and tap on measure distance, this one right here. Then go ahead and drag this point that you get across to the direction of the measurement that you want to make. Now keep dragging there and whenever there is a change in direction, tap on the plus button in the bottom right corner and then change your direction however you want and keep doing that. And as you can see here in the bottom left, the measurement is happening and the distance is being measured. And that is it for this video, guys. I hope it was useful. Please like and comment down below. Leave your questions in the comment section. I'll try to answer every single one of them. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.